best there is, plain and simple. Well, I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence. Thank you. And nobody can hang with my stuff. Just a, just a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, you're last. Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So in today's video, I'm finally going to fix the blown out suspension. This thing has been getting beat up, but we're finally about to fix it. Guess what just came in the mail? Yes, sir. Big BC Racing coilovers. Dia series. They're a little bit beefier, a little stronger. Yes, sir. Coilovers for the Hellcat. I'm not sure if it's the first one ever. I haven't seen anything online. I know there's gonna be a lot of people commenting like, not everyone posts what they do. There's obviously someone that has coilovers on a Hellcat before. Not everyone records everything, but if you were, <laughs> but if you were to put coilovers on a Hellcat, you would make a post, a picture, a video, something. So I haven't seen it before, so it might be the first, but yeah, we're about to head over to City Alignment, get these things slapped on and Fix that damn blunt out suspension so we can get to drifting. Let's go. All right. Pulled up here at City Alignment. Wow. God, we got a Michael Myers night. <laughs> the dullest Michael Myers knife. It's been cutting concrete with that thing. <laughs> Upgraded the suppliers. Letter opener. Are you trying to make the noise? <laughs> Little adjustment shim things. Okay. The little damper up top. Those are clean. Better than the yellow shit, that's for sure. Just no active ride. I mean, you do have it, kind of, not really. Because I was going to see if overkill performance could just, like, put that on the dash so there's no lights that pop up. I'm pretty sure with the team, that's what okay. Yeah. But yeah, these are nice. Good-ass quality. DC racing. I yeah. like them. If you're going to be drifting, I'll probably go, like, not too hard, but, you know, kind of hard. Yeah. I don't know how many, I think it's like 16 turns. Let me see. 20 something. I can't remember. Damn. It's like super soft. Damn, hell of a Like 30. God damn. damn. That's cool though. Yeah, the more adjustment, the better, I guess. And these, I guess, have like one to three inch drop. So I don't know how far we should drop it because I still want clearance. But I, I would say 1.5. Point go halfway just so the the coilovers aren't maxed out either that's a good idea yeah because right now yeah, man. right now this shit is slammed in the front way too low right now like your tires right here. Yeah. And you can tell that this side is higher than that side. So are these the fronts? Yeah. Yeah. Pop one of the rears open, see what it looks like. Okay. And it's just the coil? Yeah. It's All right. Work your magic. <laughs> Fucking guy. On the car on the lift, finally in the air. I have not looked at this thing yet. So obviously you could see where the tire's been rubbing. Goes from paint to nothing. Straight bare, what is that, aluminum? Eating up the whole tire. 
and I just noticed that straight up hole in the fender liner nice damn so next to the hole you can see where the tire's been rubbing right here it's like grinding it down let's take care of that <laughs> what's up hi <laughs> it's still there yay the motor I, I give you six months. What? I give you six months. Nah, cap. Six months. Bye bye. Cap it, cap, cap. Transmission. Shower's not going first. Maybe, but we already we already got plans for that. We already got we already got plans, man. How we looking in here? You nerdy. If anyone needs them, I will be selling the H and R lowering springs because I'm not going to be needing them anymore. So full set of H and R lowering springs. Tap in, let me know. Bro does not want to be doing this right now. So this is what we're getting rid of, is the active suspension. See on this suspension, you can go from sport, track, and I think street and eco. After we throw the coilovers on, it's gonna be straight track, nothing else. But that's all we need. And just like that, sway bar end link is out. All right, put it back on so we can record the video. Oh yeah, let me try it on. <laughs> wow! Oh my God! Dead. Is it Modelo time, fool? <laughs> Modelo time! <laughs> Can you tell if there's a significant weight difference? Those are lighter. If anyone needs them, got a set of H&R lowering springs. Not that many miles on them, I think. What? Less than 3,000. Less than 3,000 miles on the H&R springs, so let me know. BCs look good in there with the AAD upper control arms. All black. Nice, nice. So we got this passenger side on. I'm trying to figure out the height adjustments and how low I'm gonna wanna go. Cause I want it low, I just don't wanna scrape anymore. Bullshit, bullshit, that's bullshit. Tired of scraping. Not believing. <laughs> Jensen was crying cause I didn't wanna put it on there. So now it's on there. So now you can go home and sleep happy, all right? He was talking about, nah, I'm gonna just do it tomorrow morning. Like, bro, we gotta get at least one on. Come on now. He was crying, man. Yeah. See, we got one on. Comment down below, Jensen crying, emoji. Thank you. <laughs> Support Cisco. <laughs> That'll be the end of Cisco's interview. Look. They were hidden. Yeah. That's probably what that noise was every time I bottomed out. It was sounding crucial. See, I got this side on. BCs look hella good. Way better than that yellow shit. Can't lie. So yeah, we'll come back tomorrow, early in the morning, get all the other shit put on. Tomorrow, we'll uh, dial in the height, see how low I wanna go, and then take this thing for a test drive, go see if we can break it. <laughs> gonna try to keep it in one piece. I'm tired of breaking this fucking thing. I'll see you tomorrow. Hopping in this bucket. <laughs>